Hey Fire Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your guys' Wednesday, April 17th love reading. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, we got cards flipping out already. So, you guys have the Three of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, Wow, that's huge. All right, and the overall outcome. Do I have any other ones flip? I don't think so. All right, your guys' shared energy between you and somebody else is the Nine of Pentacles. This is being clarified by the alchemist. And the Seven of Cups. Makes sense. All right. So, let's start with your guys' shared energy. Right now, um, you guys are in separation from somebody. You are becoming more independent, more confident, more invested in yourself, in your own future. Um, focusing on what you want, not what everyone else is wanting. Um, just really taking a stand, being strong, having a high vibration. Um, and you're really um, coming out of a time of confusion uh, and... Uh, manifesting your life partner. Um, the seven of cups for me is always life partner, uh, with one and seven is your natural or your natural is your first and seventh house, um, of the Zodiac. Uh, so you could be dealing with a, you could be manifesting a Gemini here with the alchemist and the seven of cups. Um, <clears throat> So, um, you also could be manifesting a Virgo, but you're using the tools that you have learned from this, this situation that you are in separation from. You're really taking the steps that you need to take to become the best version of yourself that you possibly can be. And in turn, you are learning the, the tricks of the trade. You're learning how to manifest this life partner into your life. And it's going to become very clear who that life partner is. Um, you're going to see through everybody's bullshit, everybody's illusions, delusions, and you're going to see who's really there for you and who um, was just there for different reasons along the way. So, um, let's, let me get a clarifying deck here. Okay. So, um, in your guys' past, the energy coming up to the current, you guys were standing there waiting forever for somebody. The bottom of the deck happens to be the three of wands here too. Um, you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this person's ship to come towards you. You are at a distance from this person. Um, this person could be dealing with their own karma at the moment, but you are trying to manifest this relationship back into, uh, a commitment and you're just standing there left waiting, waiting for somebody to return, waiting for somebody to do what they say, waiting for your ships to come in. Um, why is the three of wands here? My goodness, flying everywhere. Uh, why is the three of wands here in the past energy? Thank you. All right. The four of swords. Yeah. So, um, this person really hurt you in the past. Um, you needed to, in the past, you guys really took the time to heal your mind, body, and soul after finding out the truth of this situation, finding out the truth of why this person wasn't coming towards you, finding the truth that this person had made you promises. And it was one broken promise after another, but in that healing, you are coming out as a nine of pentacles. So, um, that person actually did you a favor, even though it didn't feel like it at the time in your current energy, you have the eight of cups. You're walking away. You are walking away and into, um, your spiritual journey with or without this person. You are tired of waiting. Um, you've been waiting for quite some time for some of you, three years, for some of you, um, you know, it's just been months, but, uh, this eight of cups here is you really, um, finding the courage to walk away from something that you were emotionally tied to, that you were emotionally, um, invested in. Yeah. This person, you're walking away from somebody who is very in and out of your life. Uh, this person had a deep desire for you. There was a sexual connection. There was a, a mental connection. There was a emotional, spiritual connection, but they were in and out. 
they were constantly bouncing between you and somebody else. They kept going back to somebody that they used to love and leaving you and then apologizing and then coming back. Um, and you're walking away from that energy, even though this is the, you know, the sign of the fire sign, um, you are walking away from the person who was flighty, um, in your life. You're no longer going to put up with that. And you are moving quickly forward and the energy coming in for you, you're moving quickly forward into a stable commitment, a stable relationship, somebody who's mature, somebody who knows how to, um, to acknowledge their feelings and not afraid to put themselves out there. Somebody who has, you know, is a family person. They, they are there for you really, you know, for the long haul, you are moving away from this energy of somebody who kept you waiting forever and was very in and out of your life into somebody who's not going anywhere. They want to build a stable commitment with you, a stable foundation. Um, this is somebody that you are destined to be with. Um, and they are very, very stable, um, financially, emotionally, spiritually. And this is going to be a beautiful connection for the two of you. And like I said, this is a life partner. Spirit's advice. This is huge. You have judgment and justice. Two, two cards about... Um, one is about karma and balancing your life out. One is about getting that wake-up call from the universe. So let's see what each one's about. Why is justice here for spirit's advice for fire signs? Why is justice here? You could be waiting on somebody to uh, get a divorce and that's what was taking so long for them to come towards you. Why is judgment here? Wow. Yep. Taking them all because they're all major arcana. Okay, so Spirit's advice to you is to find balance in your life again, to let go of that relationship that did not bring you justice, that did not bring you balance, that was karmically unfair, unfair things were done to you. Um, this person couldn't get out of a commitment that they were in um, or didn't want to or just refused to or however the situation fits for you. This is somebody that you were dealing with that didn't come towards you because they were either married or in a long-term commitment. Not necessarily legally married, but was with in a commitment with somebody. So um, you have done all that you could do, Fire Signs. You did all that you... Um, were able to do to make this connection work and they didn't take that free will to move in your direction. So now Spirit's advice to you is to move forward and allow yourself to find that balance and peace again because karmically you are balanced out. You are good to go. Um, and when you do that, when you uh, walk away from the situation and find balance in your life again and allow um, yourself to be in a relationship where you are treated fairly. New love is coming in for you. This beautiful, beautiful love um, could be from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is just going to be an over flow of emotions, beautiful connection. This is what love is, what love really is. This is what love is all about. And this relationship is going to be very fair and balanced and equal. You're not going to take more from either one of you, you're both going to equally water each other and grow, grow, grow. This is huge. Um, you're going to get that wake up call. Spirit is going to give you that wake up call. This person is going to come back to you out of fear that you really are leaving. Um, so you're going to get that second chance. For some of you, you're going to take this person up on that second chance. Um, but for this group of you that I'm uh, channeling in, you're going to get the wake-up call that this person isn't going to do what they said they were going to do. And in order for you to get this stable, happy, loving, solid relationship that's based on balance and equal and love and passion, you're going to... Um, walk away. You're going to allow this cycle to close with this person who keeps coming back and forth because you're realizing that this is a karmic cycle. You're going around in circles. It's, you know, it keeps repeating itself. So you're going to, um, with the help of your angels, get this wake up call and you're going to put an end to this cycle. You're closing it out. You're closing the door, um, because you're tired of the cheating, the lying, the deceit, the behind the back energy. You're no longer putting up with that because, Archangel Michael is bringing you in balance and self-healing and 
your true life partner. Um, once again, Gemini, Sagittarius, um, this is going to be a love of a lifetime. And I, I can't stress that enough what I am seeing for you guys. Um, this is most definitely a beautiful, beautiful, blessed divine partnership. You're both spiritually connected. You're both emotionally connected, spiritually, sexually, mentally, physically, everything. This is the person you're going to realize you're going to get that wake up call and realize exactly why it didn't work with this person, because this is what you have. This is what you deserve. This is what you are getting. In your guys' outcome, if you take Spirit's advice, you guys have the Princess of Swords and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So let's see what that's all about. So the person that's coming back to you that you've been waiting on, they're going to hear about this, this relationship that you have. That's what this Princess of Swords is about because I can already see it. Why is it? Yep. Okay. And why is the Four of Pentacles here? Thank you. Okay, so yeah, this person that threw you out of balance, this person that was sharing their energy not only with you but with somebody else is going to get wind of you being in this fabulous relationship and they're going to come rushing back trying to get you to give them a second chance. Could be an earth sign, um, but they're, they're hearing about um, you and how great you're doing this, this relationship that you're going to be in the balance that you're finding in their life. And they're worried they're losing you. They're worried that you are walking away. Um, and you are really going to close off, um, that opportunity with a Virgo possibly, um, for some of you, but for uh, the majority of you, you are going to let that guard down because when this person comes in, you're confused, you're worried that they're too good to be true, but you're going to see after some time of reflection that it's safe for you to love, that you can let that wall down, you can let that guard down, and you don't have to protect your heart like you had to in this past situation, because that's not what this relationship is about. This relationship is going to be very spiritual, very connected, and the two of you are just going to really love and appreciate each other. Um, so go ahead and retreat and really... Um, um, find that light in, in your own darkness and realize that you can let that guard down because this person, I mean, hello, this is a beautiful, beautiful relationship coming in for you. So don't, don't block it out fire signs because you're waiting for that person of the past to, um, wake up and realize that you are the best thing that ever happened to them. And for the, a lot of you, they will. They will realize that, but it'll be after you have moved on and they will regret not coming towards you um, for this group of you that I am seeing. They truly, honestly will. Um, but Spirit's advice is to move forward and move into that balanced relationship and you have a whole world of blessings coming in for you. So let's get one. Thank you. All right. Look at this. There's that new person coming in for you, Fire Science getting to know each other and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. That's that new person coming in for you. That's that person you are manifesting into your life. That's going to just treat you like the amazing people that you deserve to be treated. It is safe for you to love this person. Your feelings are real. So open up and allow that bond to grow because it's going to turn into a beautiful blossoming relationship. All right, fire signs. What an amazing reading for you guys. I'm so happy for you. Happy Wednesday, and I will see you next time. God bless.